What's going on guys? George from SFA Cichlids here and today we're going to be talking about how this device might just save all your fish. You're not going to want to miss this. So as you may or may not know, hurricane season just started here in the Florida area. What ends up happening most of the time is that when you have a big category 3 or higher hurricane coming in, we do lose power. I remember about a couple years ago, we actually lost power for 10 days straight. I had eight tanks running at the time and we did not lose a single fish. Now the only reason that that happened is because we had these. These are battery powered air, um, like air machines. You can see in here, it takes the D type batteries. You just have to stock up on your batteries and get one of these for each tank. Now, along with those, you're going to want to have sponge filters in each of your tanks. These do come with a little air stone here, but the air stone is not good enough. If you are without power for that long, you're going to definitely want to have some type of biological filtration in there. So what I recommend and what I do is I run a sponge filter in every one of my tanks. So what ends up happening, the power goes out, you're gonna lose your lights to your aquarium, your filters are gonna go out, your air uh, machine is gonna go out, everything's gonna go out. Light is not important for the fish. Yes, the light brings out more color in them, this and that, but they don't need it to survive. What is important though, is that they have oxygen in the water and that uh, their waste is uh, being broken down. Another quick tip that I wanna give you is Try not to feed them as long as you can while you don't have power. Now keep an eye on their bellies, make sure they're not starving. But usually if you have a well-fed fish, it's gonna take more than you know four or five days for them to you know start really looking thin or their health to be affected. I would say you could usually go a week without feeding and you will, you will have no problems at all. Now not feeding them is gonna reduce the amount of waste that's in the water which in turn is gonna make it easier for that one sponge filter, which you will have connected to this, uh, to do all the work. Um, besides that, just make sure you buy a lot of extra batteries for these. You could get one of these on Amazon for about 11 or $12. It's not much. It's definitely, you know, it's something you wanna have. And even if you don't live in Florida and you don't have hurricanes or whatnot, you definitely want to have it just in case one day the power goes out. I see a lot of posts on Facebook that are always asking, what do I do? The power went out. Uh, another thing that you could do is you could get a cup of water, uh, raise it like a foot over your tank and do that. But that's not helping your bio load at all either. So the safest bet, have a sponge filter. You should have a sponge filter in your tank anyways, because why not? Extra filtration, extra aeration. Uh, I would also try not to do any water changes while the hurricane is passing because of all the extra water what ends up happening is sometimes the water company puts extra chlorine or extra things in the water that might not be good for your fish. Uh, yes the prime detoxifies it but if you don't put enough and they put extra in their water it might end up killing your fish. It has happened to me where my tap water came in with a very high amount of ammonia after a rain for somewhat and I lost like 10 of my fry. And before I go, a pair of batteries for uh, this air box in particular, it lasts about 36 hours. And yes, that is tested. So you would want to have two batteries for every 36 hours and you'll be safe. So I hope that this quick video, you know, will help you understand how you could keep your fish alive during a hurricane or during when your lights are out. This is the easiest way I guarantee you. Just have a sponge filter in your tank no reason not to so yeah so if this video helped you in any way please make sure to give it a big thumbs up share the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't and youtube has recently been doing a weird thing with the notifications where the videos don't go out to everyone so if you could please hit that bell icon that would be greatly appreciated and until next time guys i hope you enjoyed see you later